This is Kingdom View of Relationship and Marriage Series. Um, the first point here is the best way to pay back for your partner's kind behaviors towards you in courtship is not by giving yourself up for a cheap sex. There are other ways to appreciate people without lowering your godly standard. Be disciplined. So somebody did something good to you, somebody acted kind to you in relationship, maybe your, your partner in relationship acted so kind or he helped you to do something or she helped you to do something. The best way to appreciate them is not to lower your standard, you know, just give up yourself for, for cheap cheap things. No. There are other ways to say thank you than, you know, lowering your standards. Don't try to impress people. Just work on yourself and let your life reflect what you are trying to show. Virtues are visible. When people discover godly virtues in you, they will celebrate you without being forced. If you are idle, what you need is, is neither a husband nor a wife. You need an employment. To get the best in marriage, you must be the best in waiting. No liars can survive waiting. So if you want to get God's best, especially in marriage, you will need to learn how to wait on God patiently. You don't yet have enough marriage experience if you are a new couple. You may claim you have spent one year in marriage, but huh, the truth is that you are just starting. There are uncountable lessons to learn. Just be patient to learn and don't rush to teach the little you have seen because not all principles works for all homes. Different homes with different personalities and principles. That is why a good counselor must not be sentimental or marital issues. So, uh, there are different principles that works for different marriages. What works for a, a particular marriage may not work for yours. What some other relationship are doing and is working for them may not work for your own. That's why we need to be closer to God so that we can get our own um, special formula with which we can run a successful relationship. Your partner in marriage is not just a special friend. He or she is a special you. Your partner is another form of you. So don't think less of him and don't think less of her when two things you know when two things live together in a place collision is normal it is only a sign to show that they are together it is possible for you to misunderstand each other but it shouldn't lead to fight or quarrel misunderstanding can lead to quarreling but not all misunderstanding leads to quarreling it can be controlled any marriage that is born out of unnecessary crushing due to rushing will end up crashing any marriage that is born out of unnecessary crushing due to rushing will end up crashing now, congratulations to those who can forgive their partners in marriage because they have just shown their children that forgiveness is possible. Anything you do to your partner in marriage, you are teaching your children. Whether you believe or you don't, that's the truth. Uh, be supportive in marriage. Be supportive in relationship. You know, the load is not only on the husband. It is on the both of you. Your husband should not lose you because he had lost his job. Remember you have remember you have married, you know? Remember you have married the man and not his job. This is applicable to both male and female. 
So your wife should not lose you because she has lost her job. The same way your husband should not lose you because he has lost his job. What you marry is not the job, you married the person. Your marriage is your vineyard. What you plant is what you reap. You need to do yourself a favor by planting viable seeds in it. You cannot reap a good, you know, you cannot reap the good of the land if there is no good in the land. Now your marriage is your vineyard. What you plant in it is what you reap from it. You know, you need to do yourself a favor by planting viable seeds in it. You cannot reap the good of the land if there is no good in the land. Everybody want to be loved, but not everybody want to love. Love can only come back to you when you are willing to give it out. Now, your partner will not know how much you love them until you demonstrate it towards them. Love can be demonstrated. It's important you know that sex is stress. Sex is stress in marriage when love is absent. And sex is sweet in marriage when love is present. Don't blame each other for any miscarriage in marriage. It is not your fault. It is nobody's fault. Just move on. Don't keep dwelling on bad memories and bad occurrences. When a lazy man says, I love you, he's equally saying, I love to see you suffer. Because he has nothing to show for his love. An idle man is not permitted to marry. When a lazy man says, I love you, he's equally saying, I love to see you suffer. Because he has nothing to show for his love. When, you know, an idle man is not permitted to marry. You must understand that. Beauty without a good character is an accident. Beauty without a good character is an accident. When you discover you are married to a good-looking fellow with a bad character, then you have just had a fatal accident. You are not married to compete. You are not partners in, in context. But instead, you are partners in love. You are not to compete with each other. You are to complement each other. Property generalization is a proof of love in marriage. What belongs to the wife belongs to the husband. And what belongs to the husband belongs to the wife. If you find money in your husband's pocket while trying to wash his clothes, what will you do? Spend it before telling him. Tell him before spending it. Which of these two will you do as a, as a lady? You know, it's, it's a question you have to answer for yourself. Sex before marriage is not fun. It is called fornication. Fornication is a sin against your body. You have to understand that. Despite the fact that Eve was the first to eat the forbidden fruit, even when Eve gave forbidden fruit to her husband, Adam still left the garden with his wife by his side. Are you divorcing her because of her mistake? Learn from Adam. Don't live without her. Marriage is everywhere you go. You must be proud of your partner everywhere you go. No two individuals have the same behavior. She is not wrong because she is not thinking the same way as you. Celebrate your differences in marriage. It is uniqueness and not weakness. Your differences in marriage is a unique, you know, is a unique thing. It's supposed to bring uniqueness and you know, not to be seen as weakness. Um, many don't miss home in marriage when they travel because they have many homes. You should have a home. The moment you have homes where you can go 
different from where your partner is, then your love has been divided. A child is a child, irrespective of the gender. Don't be desperate to, you know, don't be don't be desperate to have a particular gender as a child. So if what God wants to give your family is all boys, take it like that. Stop looking for girls here and there. If all God wants to give you in your own family is, uh, uh, is all girls, take it like that. <clears throat> and if God is interested in giving you, you know, the mixture, boy, girl, boy, girl, take it like that. Don't say I'm looking for only boys or I'm looking for only girls. Be contented. Anyone who marries the right partner in marriage is eternally blessed. Even when your wedding date is fixed, you must not involve yourself in any ungodly rubbish. Be valuable. If all you do in courtship is not healthy enough to help your marriage, then you are only wasting your time. If all you do in courtship is not healthy enough to help your marriage, then you are only wasting your time. If you cannot plan for your marriage during courtship, then when will you prepare? There are some things you don't do now that you may likely do in marriage. There are some things about yourself that you don't know now, but after marriage, it will become clear to you. Marriage makes you clear to you. Marriage is an exposure. You know, it, bring, it brings you more to the understanding of yourself. Children, uh, whatever you do to your parent as a child may bounce back to you when you also grow to become parents. So it's important for you to ensure that you be a blessing and not a burden. Um, godly and well-behaved children do not fall from heaven. They are trained here on earth. So whatever kind of child you desire to have, you have to trust God to train them into that, you know, to that model. Love can create feelings, but it is, you know, but it is not all about that. Love can create some kind of emotions, but love is not all about that. If your own love is based on feelings and emotions alone, then it is not a true love. What about if at some point you don't feel positive about your partner? Do you divorce? No. It's because love is more than just feelings. Love is eternal, but feelings are temporal. 